Okay, folks, this video is basically short clips from my, my series on working on the AMT 2022 Surfshark. So we're using an Iwata Neo TRN2 for the work here, starting with some light coats uh, and then a good wet coat of Aqua Gloss Gloss Black Base as a base for the uh, Turbo Dork with all color shifting paints and most metallics, you know, they recommend using a, a good black base coat to make the colors come out really well. So that's what we did here. By the way, I prepped the piece ahead of time with just a little wipe down with uh, isopropyl alcohol to make sure it's nice and clean. Now, while I am happy with the final results, it's beautiful. I found the paint itself was not as user friendly as say, uh, Green Stuff World or Vallejo color shifting. I was using a 0.5 uh, needle in the airbrush, which really lets paint flow pretty good, but still, even using, I tested out three different uh, thinners for it, and it, it got clumpy, it clogged up the airbrush, I had to stop a bunch of times to clean it out, and, and uh, it got a little spitty as it came out, but that aside, you can see, I, I followed the instructions, did three to four light misty coats, and then one heavier wet coat. You can see here, even with the light coats, we're starting to get beautiful color, we're starting to see transition and um, in the end effect we'll see really is a beautiful look. After the final coat was applied and dried it had kind of a semi-gloss look to it but we were still getting some really nice color transition without a gloss coat on top. I plan to do the gloss coat anyway, but I wanted to let it sit. But you can see here, we're seeing some beautiful color shift without any, any assistance at all from the top coat that I'm about to put on here. After letting the paint cure for 24 hours, I gave two nice coats of Alclad Aqua Gloss. It's the acrylic uh, high gloss top coat that they have, not the lacquer. It really gave a nice shine to this, and I think it really enhanced the, the way that the color changed, not necessarily the color changing properties, but just the way that we can see it, you know, because of the high shine on the high gloss. It, it's beautiful, I gotta say. Didn't, didn't enjoy working with it as much as other paints, but it is beautiful in the end. You can't argue with the results of this. Um, beautiful colors both, on both ends of the spectrum. Beautiful uh, transition between the colors. And, uh, you know, it's going to do great for this project. And I think that at the end of the day, you do have a beautiful uh, color shift from the, the turquoise to the purple in this. And it, it's just, it looks good on camera, but it looks even better in real life. You have to see it for yourself. So, not the easiest paints to actually use compared to some of the others out there, but beautiful results when you when you put the work in and get it done. Taking a close look here, you can actually see that not only do you get the, the beautiful colors and the great transition, but you can see that metallic flake look in the finish as well. It's just like I said, a beautiful paint when it's all finished and cured, and especially once you give it a nice high gloss top coat. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and everybody out there building your own. Remember, keep building them, build them well, and I'll see you on the next one soon.